All right, um, let me go ask my boss. Oh, is that your boss? Yeah, that's my boss. Hey, yeah. bro. Ha! One, two, three. We're gonna need to be quick if you need a haircut. Let's go, man. Oh. This looks like a pretty little spot. Yeah. For everyone that doesn't know, this is Gunner. New no. long term friend. New long. We're going to Hawaii together. Comfortable? Comfortable as a slick grill. So Gunner, how did we meet? Couch surfing. Why you wanna. Desperate couch surf? plea for a normal host in Little Rock, Arkansas. <laughs> so you lived here your whole life? Yep. You like the farmland? What's your thoughts on it? I like it. My dad's family moved here in 1851. Last year we turned 170. A little bit tradition, a little bit headache. You Farming's not always glamorous. It always looks good in pictures and videos. What's the most glamorous and unglamorous thing about most, farming? Most glamorous is the relaxation, cows in the background, chickens. You got chickens? Not now. Skunk, fox, stuff like that. Birds sometimes get them. When I grew up I had 100 chickens. 100 chickens? Yep, I used to sell the eggs and stuff. I had a garden, used to sell all the vegetables. Where's the best place you've ever traveled to? I've been to Costa Rica four times, so I really like Costa Rica. I'd say my favorite is probably Iceland, because it's so, Iceland. so crazy, so diverse. It's like when you land on the moon, it's like you're landing in a lava field, there's just nothing around, and that's kind of like Reykjavik, or the, air, the airport's in Keflavik. Been to 35 countries. So. 35 countries? Yeah, oh from a farm to 35 countries. There's probably not many of us out there. What made you want to travel so much? I wanted to see the world and I had one aunt who lived in other countries, a great aunt. She always had stories and all of her furniture in her house from different countries. So it was always fascinating and she lived in Asia and Italy. And so I was always going over there at like Thanksgiving, Christmas, mm -hmm. Super Bowl parties, whatever. Any so I was like, I mean, if she can do it, I can do it. So, yeah. so what would you say your greatest adventure you've been on life so far is? I went for a month in China when I was relatively untraveled. It was, was that one of the first places that you went? Uh, it was probably in the top 10, maybe, I think, before mm -hmm. I had been so many places. I went to Beijing. Jiao Tong University, study business and growth and development. Saw the Great Wall of China, the, the terracotta soldiers, then we went hiking in Tiger Leaping Gorge. Apparently they thought I was a celebrity or something. Oh yeah? And I all of a sudden had a line of Chinese wanting to take pictures. What would you say your greatest challenge in life has been so far? Greatest challenge has been doing a master's and master's thesis. Like finding the research project. It's it's like a mental barrier. Like how can I write a hundred page paper? Like I've never written more than 10 or 15 pages. How can I write something 10 times longer than that? So it's really like a mental hurdle. Like how do you write a hundred page book? on some novel research that no one's ever looked into. And so you just have to come over like overcome mental barriers and things like how am I gonna do it? Where do I start? Mm -hmm. Am I ever gonna finish? That's why college and university is so good. You have to do things you don't necessarily want to do or like. Mm -hmm. So it teaches you to to accept things you can't change and to just work with what you yeah, got. Yeah to work with what you got and you gotta you gotta do it regardless. And no one likes doing a thesis. Like I like the research and then defending it. Like going in front of the board and them asking questions and poking holes in the research and like hoping that they pass you, you know? You've spent all that Very time. Very stressful. Yeah, felt like a best of like a walking out of that room when they said you graduated. I was like, oh my gosh. Last question that I asked, her, I ask everyone that sits in my chair. If you had a younger version of yourself, like a 15 year old version of yourself, what mm -hmm. advice? would you give that person? My motto has been a long time to love God, love people, and change the world. That's what you would tell your younger self now. I think that's pretty, yeah. uh, pretty insightful. Looks pretty darn sharp. Well, thank you. That is the best outdoor hair. That's the first outdoor haircut I've ever gotten. It's probably the best haircut. It's this, beautiful, right? man. We're in the middle of the farmland. morning everyone it's the mostest with the hostess joel so we are currently in louisiana new orleans i did a bit of film yesterday but i was specifically advised not to take my camera because new orleans crime rate is through the roof today we're heading to a couple of landmark locations but also with my host later gonna head to like a seafood oyster restaurant i love oysters we're gonna have a nice explore around the city go to the park go to the waterfront and just explore louisiana's great cajun food and then in about two days we're heading to texas Guys, if you haven't already liked and subscribed, do me a favor and just hit that 
and subscribe button massively helps out. I've almost finished this journey and if we want to see more adventures like this, I need your help to grow the channel. Let's get my bike, let's head on out. Let's go explore the town of Louisiana or New Orleans. I can't even speak today. So we're at a very excuse the motorbike here. I'm riding around without a helmet. I know, I know. It's only local though. So we're at this famous place called Cafe Dumont. We're gonna get some food here because apparently the food is amazing and I haven't had anything yet today and I'm starving. My goal while I'm in the park, I've been told is probably a safer area for me to give out a free haircut. When I was walking around town last night, uh, it, looked, I lo it looked very unsafe and to be honest, I've got eight states left. I'd really love to uh, get through them without getting robbed. Do you know what? Saying that, I shouldn't really say that because I've had nothing but good experiences so far. What's interesting is that Americans don't call it contactless. They only know Apple Pay. So when I say, can I use contactless? They, they don't understand what I'm talking about. Like they, they only believe that you can get contactless on like an iPhone, which is super weird. And thank you very much. There's a lot of powdered sugar on this. Excuse me guys. Yes. This is gonna sound super random. My name is uh, John, I'm a professional barber from the United Kingdom. I'm basically touring all 50 states of America. I've got three haircuts in each of the states I go to. I've got eight left. I just saw you boys just now. I just wanted to give you two a free haircut. We're, having, we're leaving like pretty yeah, soon here, yeah. Now. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Have a nice day. Alright, take care. This is gonna sound super random. My name is uh, Joel. I'm a professional barber. I'm basically touring all 50 states of America mm -hmm. and I'm giving out free haircuts in each of the states that I go to. And I was just seeing you sitting. I know you're on your break. Would you like a free haircut by any chance? No. So while we're looking for a trim, I thought I'd take you a walk around their national or their park because it is, to be honest with you, it's really pretty here. There's a couple of unsuspecting people down there. We're gonna walk to them. There's train tracks running through here, I just realized. Excuse me, bro. I don't mean to disturb you on your date. My name is uh, Joel. I'm a professional barber from the United Kingdom. Nice to meet I'm you. basically you're touring all 50 states of America mm -hmm. and I basically give out free haircuts in each of the states that I go to. I just want to know if you wanted a free trim by any chance. I mean, I had just gotten my shirt. Yeah, I just cut, saw so. as I got closer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, yeah. Have a nice right, day. You have a good one. I feel like here's a pretty good spot. Let's take a walk around it. It's so, it's like hot. It's obviously very humid so I'm, I'm sweating my nuts off here. I feel like I'm walking through the jungle. It's all swamp land. From my understanding New Orleans when it was built or New Orleans whatever they call it they uh, this was all pretty much just derelict swamp land and they built on top of it built roads very prone to hurricanes this is where Hurricane Katrina happened. So you've got the museum that's just over there but it's closed. That's very inconspicuous because I would think you could walk on that. It looks very green like grass, but it's actually water. I don't particularly want to be falling in any swamp land, especially in a white t-shirt. <laughs> Excuse me, bro. This is gonna sound super random. My name is uh, Joel. I'm a professional barber from the United Kingdom. Right on. I've been touring. Nice to meet you. Thank you. I've been touring all 50 states of yeah. America for the last seven months. I've got eight left, and I basically do it in each state. And I saw you walking past. I just wanted to know if you wanted a free haircut by any chance. Um, do I need a haircut right now? No, no your hair looks great. Okay. I appreciate you, brother, no worries, man. man. I really do. Have a nice one. Yeah, yes. you too, man. Thanks. See you later, guys. <laughs> it's important to get nose. They they mould you, ground you. I didn't see a yes until I was merely a man, and by then it was blinding. <laughs> Ducks are funny, man. I was gonna do a haircut by the French Quarter, which is like the most famous part of New Orleans. It's just too dangerous, and I, I, I'm not getting robbed. Someone got robbed there last night at gunpoint. I was walking around there, with, but luckily I just had my phone on me. But yeah, not really ideal. Excuse me, bro. This is gonna sound super random. My name is uh, Joel. I'm a professional barber from the United Kingdom. I've basically been touring all 50 states of America for the last seven months. I saw you walking by just there before. I just wanted to know if you wanted a free haircut by any chance. Uh. No, thank you. No, cool. Uh, Have a nice day, yeah? Thank you. Cheers. Cheers, bro. Just a uh, really quick one. My name is uh, Joel. I'm a professional barber from the United Kingdom. But did you want a free haircut by any chance? Um, no, I'm good, man. Cool. Thank you. Have man. a nice day, yeah? <laughs> Let's try this again. Excuse me, sir. This is going to sound super random. My name is uh, Joel Ezekiel. I'm a professional barber from the United Kingdom. This is state number 43 that I'm on. And I just wanted to know if you wanted a free haircut by any chance. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, we're on a very tight timeline sure. for today. We're actually driving about an hour north of here. Cool. So. No worries, man. Well, nice that, to meet it's you. a very random question. Super yeah, random. But yeah, you... that's a really cool thing, though. <laughs> very cool. Awesome, guys. Hopefully, you can find someone. Yeah, best of luck, guys. Excuse me, bro. This is going to sound super random. My name is uh, Joel. I'm a professional barber from the United Kingdom. I've basically been touring the last uh, the last seven months the 50 states of America and I just wanted to know if you wanted a free haircut by any chance. I just 
just got one. Look how just short. Just got one. I, I see it. So I short. See. Like literally Friday I got cool. it. Because no <laughs> I knew work. I was going out this weekend. Yeah, yeah. all good, man. Well, listen, that's I mean, a lot, I appreciate dude. it. No, thank I you for your time. somebody. Be careful. Okay? Yeah, will do. I think what I'm noticing really feels like, it's only, like, I can't even speak. It's only 30 degrees outside, but it's so humid. Like I'm sweating profusely. And I've noticed that people don't really want to like sit and talk and be in a hot gown outside. I am trying my best here. I'm, I'm seeing what I can do. Sorry to uh, disturb you, bro. My name is uh, Joel. I'm a professional barber from the United Kingdom. What's up? I basically just wanted to know if you wanted a free haircut by any chance. I've been touring all 50 states of America. I'm bald. Okay, I didn't see I didn't. <laughs> Have a nice Thanks, though. I appreciate it. Excuse me, bro. This is gonna sound super random. My name is uh, Joel. I'm a professional barber from the United Kingdom. I just wanted to know if you wanted a free haircut. I think we, we got to run. We're picking right. some people up. Thank cool. you, though. No worries, man. Have a nice day. Yeah? Have a good one, yeah. Excuse me, bro. I was just wondering if you wanted a free haircut by any chance. I guess. But yeah? How long is it going to take? 20 minutes? Half an hour? You okay being on camera? Yeah. All right, um, let me go act on. Oh, is that your boss? Yeah, it's my boss. Hey, yeah. bro. How you doing? Okay. My name is Joel, man. Nice to meet you. He I'm wants to make sure it's not on the um, no, property. No, no, not on the restaurant property. So I guess it's just right now. Okay, can you wait? Yeah, of course. Time. I'm in there, right? I, I want him to work. Yeah, that's all, all good, right. man. Okay, so good news. One of the uh, employees there with a really fantastic story. We're going to meet him here tomorrow to give him a haircut. It's obviously hot as shit right now. That location, just over there, is going to be where we're going to do our haircut. I'm meeting him tomorrow at 11. But right now, I've spent four and a half hours in the park looking for someone's hair to cut. Ridiculous. We're now going to, we're going to have some oysters. We're going to go try some Louisiana Cajun food. We're going to have a good time. I'm going with my host Emmanuel. He's an interesting fella from couch surfing. And uh, yeah, let's go eat some food because I'm starving. <laughs> Am I gonna hit that? Yeah, you're very close, man. We made it. 